What we're going to do in this video is we're going to revise some of the concepts we've seen between videos 2 and 6. Then we're going to go through several examples to practice before we move on. Everything we've done so far has been based around this formula. Given some function, a times x to the power of n, the derivative of that function is found by multiplying by the power and reducing the power by 1. Essentially, everything else we've done has come directly from that. And in this video, we're going to revise everything that we've learned from this formula. So to start off, let's find the derivative of y equals 2x to the power of 4. So this is done directly by using this formula. So we have some number, in this case 2, of x's to some power, in this case 4. So to find the derivative, we want to multiply by the power, which is 4. And then we want to reduce the power by 1 down to 3. We can then simplify this because 4 times 2 is equal to 8 times x to the power of 3. So the derivative of 2x to the power of 4 is 8x to the power of 3 by directly applying this formula. Next, let's find the derivative of y equals x to the power of 5. Well, we want to find the derivative of this. So to do that, we're going to multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. Now, in this case, the formula does look slightly different because there's no number in front of x. And in the formula, there is this number a in front of x. However, we can easily rewrite this as 1 times x to the power of 5. So in this case, the number in front of x is 1. So now we can apply the formula directly. So we multiply by the power, which is 5 times 1x, and we want to reduce the power by 1, so it goes down to 4. We now have 5 times 1, which is 5, so we have 5x to the power of 4. So what we've seen here is in the case where a is equal to 1, we want to multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1 in exactly the same way, and we don't need to include a in our formula. So what we would have is if y equals x to some power, then dy dx will be equal to nx to the power of n minus 1. And that's what we have here. So when y equals x to the power of 5, then the derivative is equal to 5x to the power of 4. This comes from this formula here, and we found evidence for this formula here, even though, technically speaking, we haven't actually proven it yet mathematically. Next, let's find the derivative of 2 times x. Well, 2 times x, that's the same thing as saying 2 times x to the power of 1. So now that we have this formula, some multiple of x to some power, we can apply this formula here. So we multiply by the power, which is 1, times 2x to the power of 1 minus 1, which is 0. Now 1 times 2 is equal to 2, and x to the power of 0 will always be equal to 1, because any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So the derivative of 2x is just 2. So here what we've seen is if the power of x, n, is equal to 1, then we have y equals ax, and the derivative will just be equal to a. So that's the number in front of x. So when we differentiate some number times x to the power of 1, then the derivative will always be that number. Next, let's find the derivative of y equals 37. Well, 37 is equal to 37 times 1, which is equal to 37 times x to the power of 0. So now we have it in this form here, and we can apply this formula. So to get the derivative, we want to multiply by the power, which is 0, and then we want to reduce the power by 1 down to minus 1. But now we have this number here multiplied by 0, so our answer will just be 0. So what we've seen here is if the power of x is equal to 0, 
then we'll just have y equals some constant a, and the derivative will always be equal to 0. Next, let's find the derivative of y equals minus 8x squared minus 6. Well, what this is, is the sum of two things, minus 8x squared and minus 6, and we're being asked to calculate the derivative of these things. Well, the derivative of a sum is equal to the sum of the derivatives. So what that means is, to get the derivative of the whole thing, all we want to do is get the derivative of each part and add those derivatives together. So the derivative of the whole thing is going to be equal to the derivative of minus 8x squared added to the derivative of minus 6. So we want the derivative of minus 8x squared. We can get that by applying this formula. So we start by multiplying by the power. That's 2 by minus 8 times x. And the power of x goes down by 1, down to 1. Then we want the derivative of minus 6. Well, minus 6 is just a number. So we can apply this formula here. Because when we're differentiating a number, the derivative will always be 0. Now we can simplify this because 2 times minus 8 leaves us with minus 16x. So the derivative of minus 8x squared minus 6 will be minus 16x. Now finally, let's use the different type of notation that we looked at in the last video. So if we're given f of x is equal to 6x cubed, then what is the derivative? which is denoted as f dash of x. Well, in the last video, we discussed how f of x and y are the same thing, and the derivatives are also the same thing. So dy dx is the same as f dash of x, and this is just slightly different notation that we sometimes use. So we can find the derivative of this in exactly the same way as before, because it's already in this form. So what we want to do is we want to multiply by the power, which is 3. And then we want to reduce the power by 1 down to 2. Now 3 times 6 is 18. So we have 18x squared. Okay, so to finish this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve each of these examples using each of these formulas that we've worked out over here. I advise you to pause the video now so you can try and solve each of these by yourself and then come back when you've done so, so that we can go through them together and check that you've got the right answers. Okay, so now that you're back, having ideally gone and tried each of these yourself, let's go through them one by one together. So we start off with y equals 8 plus 2x, and we want to find the derivative. So the first thing we have is that we're being asked to find the derivative of two things being added together. So what we'll do is we'll find the derivative of each of those things separately and add those together. So the first thing we want to do is get the derivative of 8. Well, 8 is just a constant, so that means the derivative of 8 will be 0. Next, we want the derivative of 2x. Well, 2x is a number times x, so the derivative will just be that number. So we have 2x, so its derivative will be 2. Now 0 plus 2 will be equal to 2, so the derivative of 8 plus 2x will be 2. Next, we're given f of x is equal to 20 minus x squared. And we're using our function notation, but that works exactly the same way as our other notation that we started with. So we can do this exactly the same way as the previous question, because we're being asked to find the derivative of two things added together. And these are two things being added together, because what this is is 20 plus minus x squared. So even though there's a minus sign here, this is a sum, two things being added together. 
and we're looking for the derivative of that. So we can find that by getting the derivative of each thing independently and adding those derivatives together. So first we want the derivative of 20. Well, 20 is just a number, so the derivative of 20 must be 0. Then we want the derivative of minus x squared, so to get that we will multiply by the power, that's 2, and reduce the power by 1 down to 1. And note that this minus sign stays here, because technically what we have here is minus 1x squared, so when we multiply by the power, we're multiplying 2 by minus 1 to end up with minus 2. So now we have minus 2x plus 0, so we're left with minus 2x. So the derivative, which in this case we're writing as f dash of x, is minus 2x. But it will be exactly the same if we wrote this as y and this as dy dx. Next, we want the derivative of y equals minus 9x. Well, this is a number in front of x, so we have this case, and then the derivative will just be equal to the number by itself. So dy over dx is going to be equal to minus 9. Next, we've got y is equal to 6x squared plus 5x. So again, we've got two things added together. So to get the derivative, we want to get the derivative of each thing by itself and then add those derivatives together. So first we want to differentiate 6x squared. Well, to do that, we multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. So multiplying by the power, we have 6 times 2, which is 12, and reducing the power of x by 1, it goes down to 1. Then we want to add on to that the derivative of 5x. Well, this is a number times x, so the derivative will just be the number. So the derivative will be 5. This means the derivative of the whole thing will be 12x plus 5. Next, we've got f of x is equal to 19. And we want to get the derivative f dash of x. Well, 19 is just a number, and the derivative of any number is 0. So f dash of x will be equal to 0. Next, we've got y equals x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 6. And we want to find the derivative of a sum. So that means we get the sum of the derivatives. We differentiate each thing by itself and then add our answers together. So first, we want to get the derivative of x to the power of 5. We want to get the derivative of x to some power. We multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. So this becomes 5x to the power of 4. And then we want to add on the derivative of x to the power of 6. And again, what we want to do is we want to multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. So the derivative will be 5x to the power of 4 plus 6x to the power of 5. Next, we have f of x is equal to 56 minus 4 times x to the power of 4. Well, we want to get the derivative of two things added together, so we want to get the derivative of each thing by itself and add our answers together. First, we want the derivative of 56. Well, 56 is just a number, so the derivative of 56 is 0. Next, we want the derivative of minus 4x to the power of 4. So we are in this case, where we have minus 4 in front of x to the power of 4. So we want to multiply by the power, which is 4. And then we want to reduce the power by 1 down to 3. We can then simplify this because 4 times minus 4 is minus 16 x cubed plus 0 doesn't change anything. So we've got minus 16 x cubed. Next, we want to get the derivative of f of x is equal to 8x minus 17 plus 10x squared. So we want the derivative, which is f dash of x. Now we've got the sum of three different things, so we want to get the derivative of each thing independently and add our answers together. So first we want the derivative of 8x. Well, that's a number times x, so the derivative will just be that number. So the derivative of 8x will just be 8. Then we want to add on the derivative of minus 17. Well, minus 17 is just a number, 
so the derivative of minus 17 will be 0. And to that, we want to add on the derivative of 10x squared. Well, to get the derivative of 10x squared, we multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. So we multiply by 2 to get 20, and then we reduce the power by 1 to get x. So the derivative will be 8 plus 20x. And finally, we've got y equals x to the power of 8, and we want to get the derivative dy dx. So to do that, we will multiply by the power, which is 8, and reduce the power by 1 down to 7. So hopefully you got most of those right. If not, I advise you to rewatch videos 2 through 6 in this series to get more practice with using this general rule of differentiation.